For more on the Trump campaign's claims of uh, widespread voter fraud, we're going to welcome in the former governor of Illinois, Rod Blagojevich. Uh, sir, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. Um, you know, I mean, it's interesting. We're talking about corruption here. Um, what do you make of, uh, of what we're seeing in Philadelphia? If the question is, uh, are the Democrats stealing votes in Philadelphia, my answer is, is the Pope Catholic? It's a time-honored tradition in big Democrat-controlled cities like Chicago, my hometown, Philadelphia, to do precisely what they're doing now. I've never seen it on such a magnitude, um, because this, I think, is an indication of just how widespread it is, how deep it is, and I don't think it's just confined to Philadelphia. My instincts, yeah. again, coming out of Chicago Democratic politics, my instincts tell me it's going on in Atlanta, it's going on in Detroit, it's going on in Milwaukee, it's going on in Las Vegas. It's like uh, what Justice Powell said about pornography. You can't defy it, define it, but you know it when you see it. And coming out of the Democratic uh, Chicago political establishment, I know how they operate. They control polling places, they stop votes when their candidates behind, and then in the wee hours of the morning, in the dark of night, Jeez. the stealing starts. And we've seen that in big numbers, un unprecedented numbers in this election in Michigan and in Philadelphia. It, it, it's outrageous. And the fact that they're doing it with the impunity they're doing it with is because the media is simply looking the other way because they have uh, they're a corrupt mainstream media that's not interested in, in protecting our Constitution or the rule of law. They just want to beat Donald Trump at all costs. And they're not just stealing from Donald Trump. It's worse than that. They're stealing from us, the American people. I mean, and not to hit a nerve, but I mean, you went to jail for this kind of stuff. I mean, is it really no. that common? I mean, you, see, you said it's, it's, it's all over the place? In Democrat big cities where they control the political apparatus and they control the apparatus that counts the votes and they control the polling places and the ones who count those votes, it's widespread and it's deep. And as I said, it's a time-honored tradition. It's the kind of thing where everybody knows it happens. Now, I did not go to prison for that. I took on that corrupt Democrat machine. And they brought me to ruin. They, they destroy you when you take on a system you, when you won't play ball uh, and when you take them on. And uh, what they did to me at a local level, at the AAA level to a Democratic governor, I see what they're doing to a Republican president at the major league level. They hijacked a the governor. They're now stealing a presidency. And this is incredibly dangerous to our democracy and our freedoms. And the American people should not stand for this. This is a critical moment in our history. And the question is going to be, do you take this lying down and just accept yeah. it and allow a corrupt political establishment to dictate to the people who their leaders should be or do the people rise up and peacefully protest, organize and get active and back the president because his cause is much larger than him. This cause is, goes beyond Donald Trump. This cause goes to we the people and our right to choose our own leaders in fair elections and free elections. Unbelievable. Uh, Rod Blagojevich, the former governor of Illinois, Thank you so much for that. That's uh, so interesting to hear it coming from you. We